Welcome to my exploration of the transformation journey AI sets to embark on in 2024. This year, we're witnessing unprecedented advancements and change that will redefine the landscape of technology, creativity, and how we interact as a society through the use of AI agents. Among the front runners of this revolution are, of course, OpenAI, an OG in the game, Apple, and a mysterious new entry, Rabbit, with their Rabbit R1 device. Let's get into it. So AI agents are computer programs designed to perform tasks automatically on behalf of users or other applications. They can make decisions, carry out actions and interact with their environment in a way that mimics human-like behavior. These agents vary in complexity from simple ones that follow predefined rule sets or more advanced ones that learn from their environment and experiences and make decisions based on predefined goals or utilities. AI agents are used in various applications, including personal assistants like Siri or Alexa or Bixby, autonomous robots, and software that helps in decision-making processes across different industries. So what's Apple looking to do within this space? Apple's known for its meticulous approach to new technologies that they release in terms of their products, services, and apps. And I think they're gonna make a significant impact by its R&D that they've invested in over the last year. They've recently released a paper called LLM in a Flash, which effectively describes their research of using large language models on device rather than in the cloud. And effectively what this says is processing these large language models using flash memory reduces processing times, making running models more efficient and therefore providing a response to the user who's using the AI tool or model. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but the Apple Vision Pro got released recently to the public. There's been loads of reviews and demos. If you want to find out my impressions in terms of when they announced first this device at WWDC, check out my videos and the links below. So let's get into AI generation. AI generation has definitely transformed over the last year and captured the attention of the creative industry using tools such as Midjourney and Dali to generate images simply by typing text to generate whatever image you like. Now, these tools need to be improved upon in terms of user accessibility, but the core functionality is there in terms of its use case. The barrier to entry to create videos is definitely going to be diminished as we move to the next frontier which is AI video generation. OpenAI recently previewed on Twitter or X their tool called Sora, which generated video from simply using text descriptions. There are loads on there and I definitely recommend you check those out. Here are a few examples which I saw.
Now, a mysterious new entry in terms of AI agents includes the Rabbit R1 device. Effectively, you can think of it as an AI butler which can perform tasks for you. One example is booking flights. Another example I think I saw was ordering your shopping for you. Now, the barrier to learn how to use this device can be a bit cumbersome. So you have to teach the device in terms of how to use the applications in certain cases. And of course, you'll be giving away your username and password credentials. However, if you think about someone like Apple doing this, this could be really helpful and improve their accessibility features for those who require that extra bit of help. Start my morning routine. Order me an Uber and find me a good podcast to pass the time. Oh, and tell everybody that I might be late. That was delicious. Check the fridge and order the ingredients to make that again tomorrow. Create a route that works with my goals. Then, start the best playlist to keep me motivated. Watch what I'm doing here. Process all my new photos today just like this. Find us a nice restaurant near here. Then get us there. Take me to the best spot to catch the sunset. And lead me through a meditation. Me personally, I use a robot vacuum and mop. It saves me lots of time in terms of cleaning the apartment. And it's definitely an investment I don't regret making. And you can imagine there's going to be more use cases in the future in terms of how we use robotics to help our daily lives. We're trying to build robots that learn a little bit like humans do by trial and error. What we've done is train an algorithm to solve the Rubik's Cube one-handed with a robotic hand, which is actually pretty hard even for a human to do. So as we navigate 2024, I believe the competitive efforts of companies like OpenAI, Apple, Rabbit, signal a year of significant change and transformation using AI agents and making them more accessible to the public. And also the integration of these AI tools into software to impact our daily lives. The line between digital and physical reality becomes increasingly blurred. And then of course, there's gonna be challenges in terms of regulation, in terms of how we use these tools and who they're available for. So I'd like to say thanks for watching and be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Feel free to share the content with anyone who you think might benefit from this. Until next time, peace.